Hi everyone, my name is Maddie and we're back to do some more grammar, punctuation and spelling. I thought today we'd do some spelling and um, please don't all moan at the thought spelling. We're going to do it like an investigation. So I was teaching in my class a few months ago and one of the children in my class said, Miss, when we make a plural word, we always add S or ES. And I said, do we always? And he said, yes. And I thought we would invest investigate if that's always sometimes or never true now straight away some of the children said miss we've got to cross out never because we can add an s or an es and they talked about the words that you do add an s to like cats and pens and boys and then they said and we know words that you add an es to like foxes and and watches. So we knew that it wasn't never and we knew it was now going to be sometimes or always. So I set them off to investigate and you can do the same. You could pause the video and have a little think. Can you think of some more endings that we add to words to make them plural or is that it? Is it always S and ES? Now I'm not going to do all of them because I'm going to leave some of the work over to you but I have thought of four others that we could talk about. And one of them I'm gonna mention is the IES. I'm sure lots of you thought of that because that's one of the ones you learn first. And that would be for babies or lollies. I know we all like to eat lollies. That doesn't look like I've joined it right. Or we could do, what other word could we do that ends in IES? Trolleys, there's lots of them. And the other one I thought we could mention was the VES. And that sometimes catches us out and that's for words like wolf and wolf becomes wolves and um, other words that end in an f like that end with the f sound like nice that becomes nice and roof becomes roof now there are others but i'm just going to talk about two more one of them is my favorite type of plural and they're the ones that, st that stay the same so I'm going to put that there. And that's fish, sheep, and deer. Like reindeer. They stay the same. We don't add anything to them. Um, so, so we know that if we saw one or more, because we would use a different determiner in front of it, some reindeer, or I saw a deer, or I saw some deer, then we would know that we'd seen more than one. Now, the other one that I'm going to talk about, and there are others, so don't feel like I've exhausted the list, the other one I'm going to talk about I think are the most fun and they're the ones that are just irregular and they just don't have a rule and they are words like child which becomes children one of my favorite one is tooth which becomes teeth and a one that lots of small children get wrong is mouse which becomes mice. I know lots of small children think it's mouses, don't they, or tooths. So they were just some of the ways that we can make a plural. We don't always add an ES or an S, so we would have to say that's sometimes true because we found four others, and I know there are lots more, so I'm gonna leave that with you to, to, go, to go and discover the other endings. And all I can say is thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.